in today's quick lesson I will show you a couple of patterns to practice your selective picking and then in the end of the video there will also be a play along section with a bunch of riffs to get your selective picking to the next level. Now I will show you the exercises that you will be playing with the backing track later. So the first one is a form of spider exercise essentially just going octaves playing index, ring, pinky, middle and then as triplets you do tap pick, pick, tap, down, up. And then descending, you're gonna turn it around, you're gonna play middle, pinky, ring, index. For the second exercise, we're gonna use the same rhythmic idea, but play a part of a scale. We're gonna start with A minor, so you're going to play so you always play the higher A with your ring finger you kind of have to move your other fingers around so you're going to play index ring, middle ring, pinky ring index ring, middle ring And then with the selective picking part it will be and then we use the same pattern through C major For the third exercise you will take this pattern through A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major, E major. The pattern for the major chords is going to go like this. For the minor chords. So those will be a bit awkward in the beginning to play with the same finger, with different fingers in the same fret over and over. But you'll get the hang of it with practice. So for the fourth riff, we're going to stop playing with the triplets. We will now do 16th notes. Our pattern is going to be tap, tap, down, up. And the riff slowly will go like this. And a bit quicker. Now for the last riff we will introduce a hybrid picking pattern as well. You will pick the B string open with your middle finger and then tap through triads with your left hand. It's going to go like this. And really try to get a nice hammer sound from each separate finger. So it will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, follow along with we'll start now. I hope you will enjoy this lesson. Have fun.